Good morning. Good morning, brothers and sisters. My name is Tracy Lynn Banks. I'm back to share another word with you all. Happy Tuesday. I hope everyone enjoyed their three-day weekend. Um, I did. Well, it was just rest and relaxation. I just want to say um, thank you all to those that are uh, subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Um, please like and share so that we can spread this word of encouragement. We are few in number, but that's okay. I am believing God to really grow um, my channel, this channel, for his glory, for his honor. Um, the Lord says in his word that do not despise the day of small beginnings. So I thank him and I look forward to more. So listen, so the word today is by any means necessary. And when I got this title, I was thinking of, um, you know, when we're desperate enough for the Lord, when we're desperate enough for, for things to change, for our life to change, to, to come out of the things that we used to do and just really look for God to move on our behalf, um, we will do that by any means necessary, the, the good by any means necessary. Okay. So listen real quick. I was remembering, um, a video I had seen some time ago, and it was a young man. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, he was about 20 years old and he had lost his job with some other delivery company. I don't know if it was FedEx or UPS or something like that. And he had just gotten a new job. Okay. It was going to, the following day was going to be his first day on the job. And he had a car, but that car was not dependable. And I'm sure enough, unfortunately, a day before his first day of work, his job, his car broke down. And then the ride that he was supposed to have, um, didn't show up. It, it fell through. So he's trying to figure out a little bit discouraged, of course, probably a lot. Um, he's trying to figure out what, what he was going to do. They were just in a, him and his mama, not good situation. I won't go into the details fully. Um, I'll try to remember to leave the link for the video in the description box. But anyways, um, to make a long story short, he set his alarm that night for about 11 something, 1145, 1150, so that he can make it to work the next day by 730 walking. You, you hear me walking. It was a 20 mile walk. This young man set out to walk the 20 miles for his first day of job. You talking about desperate, okay? You talking about by any means necessary. Listen, a lot of us, I'm included, probably wouldn't even walk like 30 minutes to the store, okay? I'm just saying, I'm just saying. And that was amazing. That that I couldn't believe that that video, I thank the Holy Spirit for bringing that back to my remembrance that I had seen that video years ago. Um, and that's what it was. Listen, I'm talking about determination. That's just amazing. But that is a true example of by any means necessary. So in Luke chapter five, verses 17 through 19, let me just read it for you all. It says, one day Jesus was teaching and Pharisees and teachers of the law were sitting there. They had come from every village of Galilee, from Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal the sick, okay? Some men came carrying a paralyzed man on a mat and tried to take him to the into the house to lay him before Jesus. When they could not find a way to do this because of the crowd, they went up on the roof top, okay? On the roof of the house and lowered him down on his mat through the tiles, into the middle of the crowd, right in front of Jesus, okay? By any means necessary. There were some desperate people right there, right? Okay, trying to get him in to get his healing. That's, that's by any means necessary. You do what you have to do in order to get what you are seeking after the Lord, okay? We have to be desperate enough, like these two examples I just gave you, one in, in real life and one in the scripture, which was real life. I'm just saying it was a long time ago. You have to be desperate enough, okay? And so many of us, and, and I'm not excluded, okay? So many of us, after just a few minutes, we throw in the towel, like, God, you, you, you're not doing this for me now, Okay, like the Lord is some kind of magician. He's not. He's the sovereign Lord. Okay, he is our savior. And so um, we 
we look for God to do things like do this in one day or, or do this in three weeks or do this in um, three months or even three years when we've been in a situation, okay, whatever the case may be for 15 and 20 years and then expect God to do X, Y, Z, a million and one things on our list, all of it at the same time. Listen, God can work immediate miracles and he does, he does, but you can't just go in and say, I'm giving up on God because he didn't do it in my time frame. We can't do that, um, beloveds. We can't do that. You have to be desperate enough and to hang on to the Lord and know that that thing um, that you are desiring, that healing that you are desiring will come to pass. And even though it hasn't been instant or may not have been instant, like I said, because God can, it does not mean that God's not going to do it. But what are you going to do? Okay, what are you going to do? How are you going to hold on with everything that you have? Okay, how are you going to, like these two examples, show God how desperate you are and that you're going to hold on. In Genesis 32 and 26, um, Jacob said, I'm not going to let you go until you bless me. He held on until he received the blessing. Beloveds, we have to do that. Okay, we have to hold on with everything that we have um, until that thing comes and until your healing comes. Okay, so so hold on to every, with all that you have. Okay, until you get that breakthrough from addiction. Okay, until you get that breakthrough and you break out of that habit that you had or that bad attitude. You know what I'm saying? Until you break through it and break out of that um, addiction. Um, that you have or depression. I'm sorry. I already said addiction. Um, that depression or an anxiety that you're dealing with. Okay. Hold on. Okay. By any means necessary, the good kind of any means necessary. Okay. The laziness, you got to come out and say, you know what? I'm getting up and I'm moving forward. Okay. Until my discipline comes until my consistency comes until my healing comes until my peace come until my joy come hold on, get to God, get to the Lord by any means necessary. God, I'm not letting you go until you bless me. I'm not letting you go until you deliver me. Three weeks, three months, three years, I'm not letting go, Father, of your hand until you get me out of this situation that I'm in. I'm not letting you go by any means necessary. If I have to fast, I'm going to fast. If I have to set my alarm clock for 4.30, 4 o'clock in the morning, 5 o'clock in the morning, 6 o'clock in the morning, I'm going to do that by any means necessary. If I have to walk to the job, I'm going to walk. If I have to walk my kids to school until you get me the car, uh, that's what I'm going to do. By any means necessary, I am going to hold on to your hand, Heavenly Father, until you bless me, until you heal me, until my deliverance come, until I get the thing that I need the most. I'm not going to let you go. By any means necessary, I am getting to the Father. If I have to walk to church, I'm walking. If I have to call for a ride, I'm going to call for a ride by any means necessary. I'm going to do the thing and hold on with everything I have to the Lord until he delivers, until he comes through. And then I'm going to keep doing it. I'm just going to keep on holding on. I'm going to keep on pressing into the Lord by any means necessary. They lowered the man down through the roof. You getting your healing today, sir. Hallelujah. Okay. Okay. This young man walked 20, started out to walk 20 miles. He was so determined. He said, by any means necessary, I'm going to make it to the job. Listen, y'all, not only that, it was a, a, a hard, he had to move furniture. He had, it was for a moving company. So he had to pick up boxes and heavy things after walking so many, it started off late at night to get to the job. I can't wait till y'all watch the video. He was so tired. And the lady actually allowed him to rest in one of her upstairs rooms. She said he could, but he said, no, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Oh my God, what determination. What a powerful, powerful example of how we need to go forth and keep going by any means necessary. And listen, 
You're not going to do it alone. Okay. You got the Holy Spirit. You got the spirit of the living God down inside of you to get you to the place where you're trying to get to. Okay. He's going to help you. The Lord is going to help you to hold on. Okay. By any means necessary. You can do it. I believe in you. You got God on your side. All right. You can do it. Listen, that is the word for today. I pray that you all got something out of it. Oh my goodness. It blessed me when the Lord gave it to me. I'm like, oh wow. Don't we need to get desperate for the Lord? Okay. By any means necessary. That is an amazing word. Not because I said it was God that gave it. Okay. To him belong all the glory, honor, and praise. Listen, if you are new in Christ, oh my God, I'm excited for you. Enjoy your new life with him. It's the best decision that you can ever make. All heaven is rejoicing with you. If you are, if you by chance have fallen away, okay, and you just renewed your life back to him, enjoy your renewed life with him. Okay. I'm so glad you are back. So enjoy your renewed life with him. It's the best decision that you could ever make. And yes, all heaven is rejoicing with you too. Listen, y'all, I'm excited about God today, but I'm excited about, about God every day. I pray that you all have a blessed week. May the spirit of the living God rest upon you and your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. I will see you guys next time. Praise the Lord.